Hi, it's Emily. Today we're going to talk about the glissando. So the glissando is a bit like um, when you play with a slide whistle and you go to and so it's a segment between two notes where you have to make it sound like a slide whistle. Of course, on the flute, sometimes it's a bit difficult um, because it's not something we slide, we have fingering. So the way we do it most of the time is by playing chromatically. So by chromatically, I mean you play every semitone between uh, the first note and the last note of that glissando. So usually they'll write one note and another note and in between they'll write a line or a little zigzag, but usually there's a line in between. Sometimes it also says gliss. All those different ways of writing it all mean glissando. So if you practice your chromatic scales, you'll be good. You know, let's say I have a glissando that goes from a G sharp second octave to a E third octave. I can do it like this. So I go. You know, but very fast. And so I'm trying to make it sound like. And you can try to wait a little bit before you start. It's not, it shouldn't sound like too, um, too straight. Okay, so I keep it a bit longer. Okay, so that's a glissando for, for that type. It sometimes goes down to. So that's it for that type of glissando. And sometimes too, in contemporary music, you'll have glissandos that are not meant to be every single semitone, but really like trying to do a real glissando like with your little um, sliding uh, whistle. So let's say I do one from A to E, second octave, and I use my fingers, I'll show you first. something like that. Sometimes the same one that I did before, like G sharp to high E, you could do. So, you know, there's different ways. Um, when you do that, so the other, the second type I showed you, usually you slide your fingers and also you have to really try to feel the key under your fingers to so you bring it down gradually because if you do this so even though I didn't cover the hole you see I take my finger I take it down I'm not covering the hole and then I cover the hole so here uh, what I'm showing you if you have a closed tone closed tone uh, flute um, closed holes uh, it might be difficult I know some flutists do it uh, but it's very difficult and I don't know how to do it because I have an open hole flute. So you go like this, you take it down gradually and then you bring your fingers above those keys. Some are easier to do than others like if you want to do F, F sharp, you don't even have to do to change your finger. You can just go You can also use, you can use your, your head, you know, to change, a, change um, the intonation. So let's say I do again the one that I was doing before A to E. Um, I could use my head in the beginning as well, go. So then you, you work with it and after a while you figure out, oh, this finger first, then this one, and then the mouth goes like this, you know? And it's like a little choreography that you do. And you try to make it sound good. So 
you can explore different ones that you can do with your fingers like this and if you're doing the more traditional way let's say with chromatic uh, chromatic scales it's just chromatic scales but make sure you make it still you make it sound like this little um, slide you know because if you do it too uh, robotically it's not it's just gonna sound like a chromatic scale so if you keep it a bit longer and you give it a little twist you know like I kind of go up a little bit I kind of start before I start moving my fingers and don't worry too much if we don't hear every little note it's really about the um, the effect and yeah when you practice it try to make it um, make every note come out but it's not really about that when you do it a glissando it's really about the effect so um, also sometimes practice just getting the effect out you know and being confident about it I hope this video was helpful if you have any questions or comments just leave them down below if you're interested in having flute lessons with me you can check in the description everything's there if you like the video please like it if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe and see you next time thanks for watching I hope this video was helpful if you have any questions or comments please leave them 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 <laughs> I'll do that again. Damn, 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 damn.